see, friends, you know, we want to make a difference in the world, but we got to be the difference. You see, right, the only person that, you know, some of your friends are going to see is Jesus in you. Amen. How do we, right, you know, carry ourselves? How do we, right, this morning, right, you know, how do we speak? How do we treat people, right? How do we treat people, right, that may not be able, right, to pay us back? You know, how do we spend our time? You see, right, it is a question of priorities, right? And so the Bible says here, seek. Come on, what is it? What does the Bible say? Help me. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And so what is seek? Come on, seek, right? You know, sometimes I was just thinking, right? You know, we have to explain seek, right? And yet, right, you know, when people talk about money or people talk about anything else, they know what seek means. Okay. But when, when he says, right, seek first the kingdom of God and righteousness. Come on, seek here, right? You got to pursue, right? This must be your goal, right? This must be something that you drive, right? You know, this must be something that pushes you forward, each one of us. Amen. This is something, right, that you go after. This is something, right, you actively pursue. It is something that you do continually, right? It's something that you do constantly, right? It is something that you do consciously. Christianity, right, is, right, an everyday experience with the reality of Jesus. And each one of us must know, right, when we seek, right, first, right, man, it is, a, it is something, right, that we pursue, right? It is a goal that we want to have. When the Bible uses the word kingdom, you know, kingdom, right, means, right, the rule and reign of a king. You see, right, we cannot, right, seek first his kingdom. And, you know, in that, right, you know, the Bible says we need priority, seek first the king of the kingdom. Why? Because, right, you know, kingdom speaks about the rule and reign of Jesus the king. And so, right, you know, when the Bible says seek first the kingdom of God, right, we need, come on church, listen to me, we need to realize, right, we need to establish the rule and reign of Jesus Christ in every area of this life. You know, the rule and reign of Jesus, right, in my thought life. The rule and reign of Jesus, right, in my, the way that I use my time. The rule and reign of Jesus, the way that I do business. The rule and reign of Jesus, right, in the way that we do church. You see, right, uh, seek first the kingdom of God. Right? Amen. You see, right, when the Bible says seek first the kingdom of God, two things involved here. Amen. You see, friends, listen, this morning, right, you know, it is about, right, you know, submitting, right, to His rule and authority. It is about, right, submitting to His will. It is about, even this morning, right, you know, wanting, right, Jesus, amen, giving Jesus complete control, right? Amen. Of course, right, the other aspect, it is also about doing the business of the kingdom. Amen. Come on, there's no greater joy, right, than doing the business of the kingdom, Lord. Amen. You know, what the joy that we receive from outside is nothing compared, right, the joy that we receive in serving the Lord. Man. You know, just, I think it was Friday or Saturday. It's Friday, I think. You know, suddenly I get this call. And I'm trying to figure out who is this on the other side of the phone. Man. And then, right, you know, I'm just trying, and of course, right, he's pretending, you know, he is talking as though, right, you know, you know, the way he was talking, right, he, you know, he didn't introduce himself. Right? And then he said, Pastor, I'm back. Right? And you know, and this, you know, they're not from our church. Right? And you know, they're not from our church. And this marriage, you, know, you know, the husband had left the wife for some years. And, you know, and for me, right, I said, what a joy, right? You know, how many people prayed, how many people sought, you know, how many people counseled. And God answered, right? And, you know, and he said, Pastor, I'm back. Right? I'm back. Right? I said, you know, you know, it's such a joy. Right? And then he also said, right? you know, Pastor, thank you all so much, right, for keeping in touch with my wife. Right? You see, friends, listen, this morning, right, no greater joy, right, than to see a marriage restored. Right? You know, no greater joy, right, than to see, right, someone get saved. No greater joy than seeing, right, helping someone through a difficult moment. Right? No greater joy. Right? That's why, right, kingdom business is seeking God's, you see, right, you know, there is, right, the aspect of the king of the kingdom, right? But there's also, right, you know, seeking God's kingdom is the aspect of doing kingdom business, right? building the church, right? Amen. You know, seeing how, right, we can be a blessing to others. You know, I was reading a testimony of this guy by the name of John. Uh, they call him John Wanamaker. Right? This was many years ago, right? He was the Sunday school superintendent. I think it was of the Bethany Presbyterian Church somewhere in the United States, right? John Wanamaker. And guess what, right? They say, right, you know, his Sunday school, right, 
you know, his Sunday school, you know, was the biggest Sunday school at that point of time. And, and you know, and John Wanamaker was not a full-time staff. You know, he owned a department store, a department store. And as you look at his life, you know, not just a department store, he was also, right, they say, right, he was made the postmaster general of the United States. And he was a busy man. And, right, he was also the superintendent of the Sunday school. So someone, right, you know, one day asked him, oh, Mr. John, you know, how can you, right, this morning, you're so busy, right, how can you, right, you know, uh, do, you know, your soup, you're also, right, you know, serving and your, uh, your Sunday school is doing so well. He said this, right, at a very early age of my life, Matthew, God used Matthew 6.33 to speak to me. And then he went on to say, Amen. You see, for me, right, you know, my Sunday school, my superintendent, my serving in church, my doing kingdom business, that's my main business. All my other jobs, right, are all things added to me. You see, friends, you know, he established, right, a principle where God, the king, the, the king, and the business of the king was his priority, right? And as a result of that, all these things added. They say, right, in his department store, in his department store, he built a room and he soundproofed the whole room so that he could at least spend half an hour in solitude alone with Jesus. Can I hear any man? You see, seek first. You see, right, you know, this is about priorities in life. Amen. You know, and you know, for us, right, to look at priorities, we need to ask questions. What is the most important thing in our life? What, you know, if, if something, you know, am I expressing the most important thing in my life? You know, how, right, you know, is this real in my life? Or do I need, right, to make some decisions this morning? You know, as I prepare this, I'm asking the same questions. You know, say, seek first the kingdom of God. Amen. You know, when was the last time that I had, right, a hard conversation with Jesus? You know, sometimes, right, we just go through the motions of our devotion. But, you know, when was the last time, right, you know, I enjoyed, you know, you know, when was the last time, right, we worship, you know, when was the last time you enjoyed, I enjoyed worship? I mean, when was the last time, come on church, you know, that we were a blessing to someone? And so seek first the kingdom of God. Come on church, is about, right, making the right priorities. You know? you know, this morning when you came, right, amen. You know, for those of you who are guys, we put on our shirts, right? Come on, how many of you, right, will put on your shirt buttoning from the bottom up? Hello? What would you do first? What would you do, proton? Do first. Do you put your bottom button first? No, you put your top button first. I don't know about you, but sometimes, right, in life, you know, sometimes, right, I'm so busy, I miss some buttons. You know, the first button uh, goes to the second place and... And then, and then, you know, and then I've got to readjust and to get the first button right. now, Because if the first button is not right, everything else is not right. Now. If the first button right is not right, right, amen, you know, the whole thing, right, you know, my whole uh, outward looking thing is gone. Now. And so I've got to get the first button right now. And church, listen, this morning, you've got to get this first thing right now. Amen. Each one of us, we've got to get this first thing right and what is the first thing? Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things we added to you. You've got to make God a priority. Amen. Amen. And you see, right, it goes on to say, seek first, uh, seek God and His righteousness. You've got to seek the righteousness of God. You see, right, it is not, it is, you see, this is the character of the kingdom of God. You know, it's not just, right, you know, uh, it is not just an outward expression, but it's an inward experience. Yes, you know, we have this inward experience. And this inward experience is that we have received Jesus, we are born again. As a result of that, there must be an outward expression. And so, right, you know, the kingdom of God, right, the rules are very different from the rules of the kingdom of darkness. Amen. That's why, you know, sometimes, right, when we say seek first his kingdom. Yes, you know, it is right, you know, uh, it is right, you know, seeking the king of the kingdom. It is seeking, right, kingdom business. But it is also not, not allowing right, other kingdoms or other distractions. We need to reject other kingdoms and other distractions that will prevent us right, from seeking God's kingdom. And this, come on friends, listen this morning, is a continual, everyday decision. Amen. Why? Because there is always a battle that's going on right, to get you distracted from seeking God first. 
There's always a battle that takes place, right? That will prevent you, right? There's always wanting you, right? To get distracted, to seek other things first. You know, to uh, get involved in so many things. But listen, the priority is that the priority must be God and His kingdom and righteousness. No? This is how we live. You know, righteousness speaks about, you know, righteousness speaks about, you know, just being right, having a right relationship, amen, before God. Righteousness speaks about our character. Righteousness speaks, right, about holiness. Righteousness speaks, right, about having a good relationship. Righteousness speaks about being Christ-like. You see, right, and as a result of this, the Bible says, all these things shall be added to you. Come on, listen, look at me. God will not withhold His provision from anyone, right, that has yielded to Him. Come on, church. Amen. You know, sometimes, you know, yes, you know, sometimes, right, we go through moments of despair. You know, sometimes we go through moments of lack and sometimes God allows it to happen. Why? More than what is happening outside, we need to learn the things that are happening inside. It is through your most difficult moments that you will learn your most wonderful lessons in the Lord. Life is a learning lesson. And every day of life, right, is a learning lesson. And so, right, you know, the Bible says all these things shall be added to you. You see, as I said earlier, right, our problem is we are always focusing on all these things. No, we are always focusing on these things. Amen. Yes, you know, it is nothing wrong focusing, but it must not be a priority. Amen. Our priority must be to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And the Bible says, and all these things, right, when you and I, come on, when you and I seek first His righteousness, amen, come on, let me tell you, the provision of God will flow through. And you know, when we took that step, right, of going full-time, and it was not just uh, that uh, decision of going full-time, but every, you know, this has been, right, of course, right, the moments that, you know, we've made mistakes, but this has been, right, the scripture that I always claim. Lord, uh, we've always, right, you know, endeavored wherever we can. Yes, we've failed sometimes, but Lord, we've always endeavored, right, to honor you and seek first. And Lord Jesus, you shall add. And God has never failed us right, right through. Right? Amen. Some of you this morning may be going through moments of you know, lack. Some of you right, may be going through moments of despair. Right? You know, my appeal to you this morning, right, to all of us this morning, is just get the priority right. right? You know, some of us sometimes right, have got our own ideas of what we want. Right? But listen, I'm asking you this morning, Matthew 6.33, put it right, imprint it upon your heart internalize it externalize it verbalize it thinkalize it amen obeyalize it whatever right but just make this right something that is real amen make this something of your life impart it right to our kids right impart it right to everybody that we meet why because this right you know gets our priorities right and let me tell you this right once our priorities are right everything else in life right will flow according to what god wants you know you know what I mean? Thank <laughs> you.